Hey there, how are you today? I hope you're good. I'm great. I mean, it's so hot in my room right now that I feel like I'm gonna pass out at any second, but I'm doing really well. Anyways, Lollapalooza is in less than a month and I'm not going, I know God has other plans for me. And even though I'm not going, I still love planning out music festival outfits. So for today's video, that's all we're gonna do. Before we jump into it, can you please like this video and get subscribed? It's really important to me and also to you. I don't know how, but it is. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. Last year, it was my first time at Lollapalooza and I had a great time. I have a few videos about that. I have vlogs, how was my experience. And I really planned out my outfits because like I said, I like doing that. But honestly, the more I go to music festival, the less I care about what I'm wearing because at some point I'm so disgusting or so cold that I don't really give a fuck anymore. For this year's Lollapalooza, instead of doing what I did last year, I chose things that they could match with each other. I mean, I was packing so maybe you're packing to you and that's gonna make our lives easier but also I don't know like I just want to be comfortable and still be cute so before I show you the outfit I want to show you some basics some things that you can wear with literally any music festival outfit that you want those pieces are gonna be key because it doesn't matter what you're wearing they're gonna make you look good and comfortable okay so I have this yellow converse that I am completely obsessed with 70s edition you can literally wear like short jeans and a white t-shirt and wear this and boom you're ready you're fine if you want to do something different I have finally cowboy boots and I love them I took forever to buy my cowboy boots first because I saw everyone wearing and I was like I don't want to be in this vibe I'm Aquarius okay if that tells you anything I mean we can't deny they are pretty cool right and I took forever to find one that I really liked this one believe it or not I found it on Amazon I have an Amazon storefront and a lot of the products that I'm mentioning here are gonna be in there. Point is that I found those boots on Amazon and they are literally the most comfortable pair of boots that I ever wore in my whole entire life. I'm not even joking. I went to a party the other day and I stayed the whole afternoon and night wearing them and my feet didn't feel anything. Literally. They are so comfortable, so stylish. So I definitely would go with cowboy boots and they weren't expensive at all because like every cowboy boot that I was trying to find they were so expensive and I was like I don't know if I want to invest this amount of money right now but those were were a uh, very reasonable you know it was like $65 with taxes so this is really fair for cowboy boots I also got this those are so good I wore it at Lollapalooza at Coachella at a lot of other concerts and they stay all night long neon eyeliners they're very colorful a lot of different colors were super 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 cheap because you know in music festivals you don't want to invest that much because you're gonna get so fucked up by the end of it that you better save your money this was definitely worth it and another thing that I got that I wore for Lollapalooza last year was hair extensions not very static right now okay I got a, like a lot of these and was also super cheap and they have really really good quality let me see if there's any anything open here for me to show you and now you believe me right I am so hot right now. They really do something for your outfit. If your hair is short, you can cut them. You know, they're really cool. They come in pairs and everything, and it's gonna make your outfit look really fun. This is my favorite sunnies of all time. Like, literally, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm always posting a picture with this because when I go to a concert, I don't know about you, but I look so ugly at the end of it. So disgusting that I'm like, I don't want anybody to see me like that, not even myself. I have these, I have also these these that they are a little bit smaller and I love them so much and I also have this purple on that is currently my favorite because it's purple it's cute it's aesthetic so literally I can be wearing anything because I'm wearing this it looks really really cute for the bags I have this green one that I got from Shein a while ago I'm trying not to buy from Shein anymore the topic is a little bit deep and I don't think it's up to me because my channel is about music so I don't think it's up to me to explain why but I'm not gonna be a hypocrite I still buy some stuff from there because I'm not rich yet but I try not to buy as much as I, I would so a bag is really fine for me because it's something that is gonna last a little longer and is not that easy to find in other stores and everything this is a frog one and it's so 
I also have this one that I'm so obsessed with. You know, I'm honest, so I wasn't sponsored to talk about then on my Instagram, but I wasn't sponsored to talk about then anywhere else. I actually love them. Like, they're so stylish. They're by Kipling with MTV, so imagine that. You don't have to imagine, because they have it. But look at this. Isn't it stylish? And it's so comfortable. It fits everything. So I'm definitely not being sponsored to talk about then in here, and I would love it if I could. They're really good. What can I say? Also, we have this one that is my all-time favorite. That is a bag that it's from my friend's brand. It's in Brazil, but they ship. You know, it got to me. So, and it got really fast, by the way. It's so cute. It goes with literally everything. Like, if I'm going to do groceries, if I'm going to go out with my friends, if I'm going to a party, I'm always wearing this bag because it literally fits everything that I need and is also very stylish, very safe. So, I really like it. Like I said, I want a comfort because I am there for the music and and I love to go crazy and sing out loud and I enjoy life. I wanted something that would allow me to do that. I have this top right here that is currently my favorite at the moment and it's really cute, really comfortable. Look at the design, look how it is. This I got from Shein, by the way. Those shorts are also one of my favorites right now. They were thrifted and they're very basic, like really good. It's just jeans, you know, high raise, high, high waist, high waist. I don't know, they're cute. They don't really show your butt, you know, so which is great because I'm not there for it. But if you are, good for you, you know, sometimes I am. But if I do happen to want to show my butt a little bit, I would go with those shorts because this does the job. And they are really cute. I call those shorts, also got from Shein, I call those shorts uh, my amusement park shorts because they're perfect for it, but they would also be really good for a music festival because as you can see, they have this really cool design. I don't know if... Okay go for it i look so disgusting oh my gosh Eel. Eel. look next time that i'm looking disgusting please let me know okay now you have to like the video i don't know if they have other colors but i i like this one one thing that i think it would match the shorts that i just showed you is this t-shirt right here i mean it can be literally any band artist t-shirt that you want i personally like really really oversized t-shirts because it looks like a dress because it's comfortable it's stylish but you do you i have this one that i got at amoeba a record store here in la is a t-shirt off dinosaur Sword Jr. I don't listen to them that much, okay? Don't ask me to name three songs because I'm not gonna know, but I like the t-shirt a lot, look. Vibe. I know that Metallica and Green Day are playing, so if you want to go for the Rockstar Girlfriend aesthetic, I would definitely wear something like this, like a band t-shirt and maybe a fake leather skirt. We don't wear real ones, right? We care about the animals. And also another option would be like a top, like this one, you know, that I'm wearing right now. And obviously it doesn't have to be white, you do you, but I, my way of thinking is like Rockstar Girlfriend aesthetic, so I would wear something like this and red lipstick. I think it would look really cool with the cowboy boots vibey and finally for the last outfit i have my all-time favorite concert outfit that i made the skirt i didn't because i'm not that talented okay the skirt i got from doll scale i don't love doll scale okay i always had so much problem with them with fitting and everything i like doll scale when i go by in person because then i can feel the material i can try them on i can see how they look but every time that i order something online i had a problem i had i had to return or something like that again i'm honest i wouldn't recommend doll scale if you're buying online but if you're buying on person go for it and i do love this skirt you know it, like it can i can wear it for so many things and i have those socks they they go by your knee you know like very sporty and everything i don't know if it's sporty is the right term but you got it the top my friend gave me it was it's like a very simple basic uh, gym workout top and then i went on where Yes, Amazon. I went on Amazon and I got those letters. They have in so many different colors and size and everything. I wanted something that wouldn't be big, but I didn't want something small either. And this size is just perfect. Also in my storefront, it was so simple to do. You literally just open the package, you measure how they're gonna look. You know, it can be by eye, and then you just put the what's it called? The ah, that thing that you use in your clothes. It was really simple. It took me like five minutes to do this. I did that when I went to see Green Day at the Dodger stadium in the stadium and everything so I'm I actually feel like I'm gonna pass out <laughs> that's it that's literally it I, I'm sorry if the video feels a little bit rushed but it's just that this is 333 
good luck for me you're subscribing girl i love you sorry about that okay this was the only time that i had to film the video and it's literally the worst time like between 3 to 5 p.m or even 6 it's just so hot so i wish i could do better but <laughs> this is the best that we could get right now okay so if you have any questions let me know i'm happy to answer you okay one more time some of the products most of the products are gonna be in my amazon storefront so i I hope you find everything that you like if you don't let me know maybe i can help you okay and that's it i hope you liked the video if you did don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and if you didn't i i don't even care at this point <laughs> bye have fun at lollapalooza